Welcome to the ClearPath ePortal Developer 4.1 Capabilities Demonstration. This video is part of a series of videos which explain the steps to develop different types of data sources and presentation projects in ePortal Developer for modernizing ClearPath applications. In this demonstration, we will show you how to create an iPhone presentation project. This will allow devices running on the Apple iPhone operating system, including the iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad devices to access the applications running on the MCP system. To create an iPhone presentation project, we should have created a data source project. In this demonstration, we will use an MCP COBOL data source project where message orchestration steps are already carried out. Let's get started. We have already loaded the MCP COBOL data source project in the Visual Studio IDE. We will add a new Visual Studio project by selecting menu option File, Add, New Project. We will now see the Visual Studio New Project dialog box. Let's select the mobile project type under the ClearPath presentation node. We are creating an ASP.NET based iPhone application, so select the project template ASP.NET iPhone Web App. Let's name our presentation project as iBank. Leave the location to the default value and click OK. We will now see the Presentation Generation Options dialog box. This dialog provides options to control the default look and feel of the controls on the web pages generated. In this demonstration, we will accept the default settings and click OK. Now, let's build a solution by selecting menu option Build, Build Solution. As we can see, during the build process, ePortal Developer generates the web pages corresponding to client messages in the data source project. We can test this iPhone presentation application in Visual Studio IDE using the Safari web browser from Apple to simulate the iPhone. We should use Safari rather than Internet Explorer as Safari is more likely to render the iPhone application correctly. Safari can be downloaded from the Apple site. When testing a web application in Visual Studio IDE, it launches the default web browser configured on the machine. We need to make some changes in the project to make sure that Safari is launched during the testing. In the Solution Explorer, right-click on iBank and click on Properties. Then click on the Web tab. Select the Start External Program radio button. Click the Browse button labeled with ellipses and browse to the location of Safari Executable. In the Command Line Arguments text box, enter http colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 4938. 4938 is the port number used by the ASP.NET development server. We can see this value in the specific port text box below. Let's save the changes. We can now test this iPhone presentation application. Right click on the iBank project in the Solution Explorer and select Set a Startup Project. Then select the menu option Debug start debugging. This will start the mobile application in debugging mode. The first page displayed in the browser is the login page. We should enter a valid user code and password on this page. For this demonstration, we will enter user code and password values as web dev. Then click the send button. After a successful login, we will get the home page, which has links for view accounts balances and transfer funds eBank operations. Let's first click on the view accounts balances link. This will open a web page which displays account details like account number and account balance. Click on the send button to go back to the home page. Now let's click on the transfer funds link. This will open the Transfer Funds web page. 
Let's enter the fund transfer details. From account is money market. To account is interest checking. And amount is 2000. We will leave the optional fields blank. Click the send button to do the fund transfer. After a successful fund transfer, a confirmation page will be displayed. Click on the send button to return to the home page. As we can see, once we have a data source project with message orchestration done, creating the iPhone presentation application requires minimal steps. Here, we have demonstrated two eBank operations and corresponding web page navigations. ePortal Developer provides capabilities to customize the web pages generated by default. For example, we can add new controls, change the style of existing control, or remove them if they're not required. Now let's click on the Transfer Funds link again. We can rework on some of the items on this page which were generated by default. Notice the text box for Recurring Field. This field is intended for Boolean values. Instead of asking the user to enter true or false, we can make it an on or off button. Also notice the send button. We can change the label on this button to something more appropriate transfer. Click on the sign off button to close the application. Now let's stop debugging by clicking debug, stop debugging, so that we can make these changes on the pages. Also make sure that all the ASP.NET Development Server instances started by the Visual Studio to host the web application for testing are stopped by clicking Stop on them in the system tray. Now let's make the changes on Transfer Funds page. In the ePortal message window, right-click on the client message, Bufin Transfer Funds, and click on Open Presentation. An Open Presentation Files dialog box is displayed. Just click on OK. This will open the Bufin Transfer Funds.aspx page. Now let's click on the Design tab at the bottom left corner to switch to Design View. Select the Send button and its Properties window. Change the text field value from Send to Transfer. Let's save the changes. In the ePortal message window, double-click on the server message, Bufin Transfer Funds, to open it in Message Editor window. Click on the From Account under Transfer Funds node. In its Properties window, change the initial value to Interest Checking, so that the Interest Checking option will be selected by default. Now, click on the Recurring node. In its Properties window, change the control style from text box to checkbox. When the control style is checkbox, in iPhone presentation projects such a control is displayed as an on or off button. Let's save the changes. Note that since the Auto Recreate Client Message option in Data Source Project is set to true, Whenever we save a server message, the corresponding client message will be automatically recreated. Now, these changes need to reflect on the corresponding web page. In the ePortal message window, right-click on the client message, Bufin Transfer Funds, and select Reconcile Presentation. Click OK on the Reconcile Presentation Files dialog box and click Yes on the next dialog boxes to confirm all the reconcile operations. Now let's test this refined iPhone presentation project by clicking Debug, Start Debugging. On the login page, we should enter a valid user code and password. For this demonstration, we are using user code and password values as web dev. Click the Send button to log in. On the home page, click on the Transfer Funds link. As we can see, all the changes made are reflected on the modified Transfer Funds page. We can enter the fund transfer details and submit the page for doing the fund transfer. This completes the demonstration. 
Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.